welcome to today's lesson on basic Travis picking style. So, what is Travis picking? Well, it's a style of finger picking where you use the thumb to play two or more notes, while the other fingers play over the top melodies or rhythms, such as that. Okay, so we're going to learn a really basic sequence. Uh, and this is a style that was used years ago by uh, a guy called Mill Travis, a country player. And uh, yeah, he was the first kind of to, to kind of play like this, uh, as far as we know. And um, so it's kind of named, named after him. Um, so there we go, Travis picking. Let's get started. We're going to play um, a sequence starting on C major. So if you hold down a basic C major chord, uh, third fret A string, which I'm sure you probably know, the second fret D string, first fret B string. And this video is for people that can play a few open chords comfortably so that you can focus on the picking hand, okay, that's crucial. Um, if you're finding any of this tricky, you can just do this sequence on one chord and not worry about the chord change. But I'm gonna go through this um, picking sequence with a chord sequence, okay? Right, starting on C. Your picking hand is gonna pick the A string with the thumb and then the D string also with the thumb. Okay, so your thumb's gonna cover those two strings and we're gonna alternate between the two. So that is something we're just gonna get used to for a few, for a few minutes. Um, that's our downbeat, okay? So that's one, two, three, four, okay? So that's gonna just keep rolling on and then we're gonna introduce the fingers, okay, one at a time. So the next one we're gonna add is the middle finger and this is gonna pick the B string, okay? So if you just pop your middle finger on the B string now, you're gonna pick that note after you pick your first note with the thumb, which is A, the A string, isn't it? So we're gonna pick thumb on the A, then middle finger on the B, and then thumb on the D, like we were just doing, okay? So in between those two notes with the thumb, we've got a B string. So we're gonna go A string, B string, D string, so we get this, okay? So we've got one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four. We can probably slow that down a bit actually if you want to play that with me. Three, four, so one and two, three and four, one and two, three and four, okay? Great. Let's add the next finger, okay? So, and the, and the final one as well. So, um, if you're finding you need to practice this a bit more, maybe just pause the video if you like, get used to just those three strings we've got so far. If you're comfortable with that, let's add the index finger, which is gonna pick the G string. Okay, so we're gonna go, um, uh, we're gonna go through the three, the first three strings we've already done. So, thumb on the A, middle finger on the B, thumb on the D, that's the same as we've been doing. Then index finger on the G, right at the end there, end of the sequence, index finger on the G string, okay? So we get this sequence, okay? So think of your first two strings as outside strings, this is a good way to memorize the sequence, and your um, the other remaining strings are the inside strings, okay? So we go outside, inside, outside, inside. If you have that in your head, it's just a good way to sort of remember it, get it locked in, and let's, let's practice that together. Okay, so three and four. Okay, brilliant. Right, we're gonna move on to changing to A minor now. So we're gonna do four on C, and then four on A minor, and that's gonna be exactly the same with the picking hand, that isn't gonna change. But the benefit of this is it's a very simple change, and we're gonna practice keeping the timing going with the picking while changing chord with the left hand there, okay? So we're gonna do four on C, and then we're gonna try and keep the rhythm going, just move over to A minor. Okay, let's try that together. So three, four. one, change to A minor, okay, we'll go back to C in a minute, last one, and C, last one, to A minor, ok, 
Okay, brilliant. So have a practice through that if you if you're feeling a little bit more time on it. If you're comfortable with that, then great. Let's move on to the next chord, which is G. And G is gonna be um, slightly different because the root note has now changed to the E string. Okay, so with C and A minor, our root note is on the A string, okay? Right there, you're holding down your root note. Um, and with G, the root note is on the low E string. So everything stays the same apart from the first note you pick is now the low E. Everything else is exactly the same. Okay, so we're now gonna pick, if you hold down a G major with me, um, we're gonna pick uh, the low E string, the B string with the middle finger, then the thumb's gonna move to the D string, and then the index is gonna pick the G string. So same sequence. If you're finding the change with the thumb tricky, because we've gotta skip the A string, you can always take it back a stage just go back to just picking with the thumb get used to that string skip over the A and then add the fingers back in and always remember take it nice and slow to start with when it becomes muscle memory then you can speed it up and have a bit of fun with it cool so that's our third chord in the sequence our final chord is going to be F we'll go for the full bar that's going to be the same because the root note is on the low E string with F as well so your, your picking hand doesn't change for the F chord from the G and that's the final chord in the sequence okay so let's put that whole thing together we're gonna to play C four times through four times through that sequence A minor four times G four times and F four times okay so four four times through that sequence okay for each chord so our count is in we'll try that together three and four and five last one change to a minor Excellent. Loop it around, obviously, and you know, um, play it as slow as you like. Just go as slow as you need to go, and then speed it up once you feel comfortable. Um, and once you're, you're okay with that, try that with different chords. Just remember, the first note you pick is going to be the root note. So, for a D major, for example, you pick from the D string. Uh, the more variety of chords you can play, the better, really, because you get you'll get used to moving the thumb to different root notes to suit the chord. So. Um, yeah, I hope that's been useful for you guys. And um, if you are ready to move on to some new sequences, then uh, please have a look at some of my other videos. I'm doing a whole sequence on finger picking uh, in different styles. So uh, once you've done this one, move on to the next one. And um, I hope it's useful. If you have any questions, please do leave a comment. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe to my page as well. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, have some good guitar playing and uh, I'll see you again soon. Cheers guys, bye bye.